a lot of times we have to use certain cells very frequently in our analysis in ms excel these could be constants or input assumptions let's say we have to use exchange rate a lot of times in our analysis now this is located on the input sheet cell d4 whenever i am working on any other sheet in a formula i have to use exchange rate i have to start the formula come to the input sheet give a link to cell d4 and then go back and finish the rest of the formula this is while building the formula i have to travel through all of the sheets come to the inputs and then go back to my calculation sheet similarly whenever i am checking a formula i have to trace back to cell d4 in the input sheet and then understand that this means the exchange rate so to understand what a cell means i have to actually come to that cell trace that cell and understand what that cell means or what that assumption means if the cell reference would have been more self explanatory could i have saved this time is it possible to rename a cell reference yes it is you can name a cell reference by using a feature called cell naming have you noticed the name box in the top left hand side of your screen yes wherever you see the cell address that's the same box which is also known as the name box typing out the name of the cell in the name box is the simplest way to name a particular cell so let's say in the input sheet cell d4 which represents the exchange rate we have to call this cell as exchange rate go to the name box and simply type the name of the cell as exchange rate what will happen now once this cell is linked anywhere else in a formula it will always be reading as exchange rate so it's very simple to understand what is happening in the formula and what is the role that this cell is playing now please note there are some ground rules of cell naming if you have a space in your name it is not accepted you have to substitute the space with an underscore or a full stop or a dot so exchange rate will have to be written like this now always give names which are easy to understand at the same time they should be shorter because if you give a lot of long names your formulas will be unnecessarily longer and you definitely don't want that to happen